In this video, I'll tell you about the chalice bushing extractor tool, which is great if you need to swap out the grip bushings on your 1911. Here I have the exposed frame of a 1911, and these little things here are the bushings. And they're screwed in, screwed in very firmly, and then the grip panel fits onto the bushings, and then the grip screws screw not directly into the frame, but they screw into the bushings and just screw them in like that. Your 1911 may come with standard thickness grips. An example is on the right, a standard thickness grip panel, and below it over here and here are the tall bushing and its corresponding screw. Or your 1911 may come with slim grips. Here's a slim grip panel over here, with this corresponding short bushing and the short screw that goes with it. If you want to change the grip panels for others of the same thickness, you simply unscrew the grip screws, swap out the panels, and reattach the screws. There's no need to mess with the bushings. If, however, you want to switch from standard thickness to slim grips or slim to standard grips, you'll have to remove the original bushings and install the appropriate ones. This Springfield Army Range Officer came with dark Coco Bolo grips, and I decided to swap them out for these G10 grips made by Stoner CNC. Let's remove that screw, which I pre-loosened for the video. Then you just pop off the grip like that, put on the new grip, and then replace the screws. I realized that Thin grips fit my hands better, so I decided to swap out the standard thickness grips for the thin grips. However, that becomes more complicated because if you're going to do that, you have to also swap out the bushings. And that can be difficult because uh, bushings are often loctited in or sometimes are staked in too and they can be very difficult to remove. Springfield Armory fortunately doesn't stake their bushings but they are Loctited in, and in my case, they use permanent red Loctite. That, remove the screws. Then, to soften the Loctite, I heated the bushing with a soldering iron for about five minutes. And this is just for demonstration. It's actually a cold soldering iron. But after heating it for about five minutes, hopefully to get the temperature above 500 degrees, which is required to soften the Loctite, then using a screwdriver, you can fit it into the screw slot in the bushing and then unscrew it. And it can be very difficult to remove, but this is the procedure. The first three bushings, there's two on the other side too, apparently didn't have much Loctite, so I managed to unscrew them intact. Emboldened by my success, I attempted the last bushing, this one here, which it turned out was Loctited in very strongly. And unfortunately, I applied so much torque with the screw, and this is simulating it, that I stripped off half of the bushing head. Now I had a big problem because I had applied so much torque that I had damaged the bushing, but it was still firmly seated in place and I had no way to get it out. And that's where the chalice bushing extractor came to the rescue. Okay, I'll show you how to use the chalice tool. Here's the little extractor that has some teeth here that engage the slots in the bushing. So first of all, you have to set it on top and rotate it so it fits into the teeth, the slots in the bushing. And then you use the original bushing screw like this and you screw it in and this firmly attaches the bushing to the extractor. Then once that's in, then you have this little torque bar that you slide in and this allows you to apply a lot of torque to the entire body of the bushing without putting excessive pressure just on the screw slots on the head of the bushing. And it use this little torque bar like this. And that's how it works. Let me just take it out completely. And there's the bushing. The head of the bushing was badly damaged. Only half of it is left. 
So I wasn't sure it would work, but I decided to give it a try. But before heating it up to soften the Loctite, I decided to just fit the chalice tool onto the bushing and see if I could even get it to attach. So I'll kind of simulate what I did. Of course, I've already solved the problem. So what I did is I uh, attached the bushing with a screw and I got this far and I thought, well, I'll just give it a try and see how it feels. And so I put some pressure on it and I thought I could feel it give just a little bit. So what I did is I kind of reversed direction in the other way and then I pushed again forward a little bit and it seemed to give just a little bit more. And then I toggled it back and forth multiple times and each time I did that it seemed to make a little more progress and eventually it came all the way off and the Loctite broke free. And I was able to get that badly damaged bushing off. So the Chalice Bushing Extractor saved the day for me and I'm extremely thankful for it. Having safely removed the tall bushings, especially that damaged one, I replaced it with a short bushing which is required for the slim grips. In this case, I use bushings made by Chalice and these come not with a screw slot on the top but a hex head which make it much easier to install and you can tighten them up with less risk of damaging the bushing head. Chalice has another great idea namely these little o-rings that now you can see the little o-ring fitted on top of the bushing i did it on the other bushing too and now they're ready to receive the thin grips and i'll try to slide them over there they also have a little o-ring that you can fit over the grip screw that you with the o-ring in place around the grip screw now i'm ready to screw it in and securely attach the grip panel so i'll do that now in my case even with a badly damaged bushing the chalice bushing extractor worked great. If I have to remove grip bushings again, I plan to always use the chalice tool and not mess with a screwdriver. Well, that summarizes my experience with the chalice tool, and I hope this video will be beneficial for someone else who may end up in the same situation. I will include a link to the chalice website. They have a lot more specifics, of course, and a lot of very good information. So if you're interested, be sure to check their website. So thank you for watching. Bye.